Boom. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, welcome to the show. Hey, hey welcome. Hello. It's welcome. actually Wednesday, but it's not Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, but it's but it, to our Australian With audience, Rob welcome. To the, oh, wait, wait, no, it's so Paul Shear. I'm Paul Shear, and this is the show oh, I'm, again. Oh, you know, for I'm sorry. You know, actually, weeks, so here's the deal, man. A lot going on in politics. Turns out I was right. I was Trump like, did not where? do anything where is wrong. He? Because yeah, you know, I think it's I, rude. Hey, Rob, I'm so sorry, Rob. I'm I think so sorry. it's rude I, 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 when yeah. you so say I you're going to host a show with another I person. I was there, to and then not uh, be there. You know, have you last ever week, noticed that? It's really, people rude. got excited about how so we were kind of vibing, and so this week I'm just kind of in the, the zone, just hitting it, not uh, a problem at all. And there was a lot ghosts. of fun uh, to me. Uh, it was really about connecting you with you, kind of going job, solo, like trusting you, giving you my ultimate, uh, you know, relaxation and going like, hey, you guys can bring me in with you. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. A lot of people out there are talking about mayor of East Town, but you know what? I don't yeah. I don't. I don't know why I don't care. I should. In the biz but I just don't. I'm not interested in there or East Town at you, all. But all here's the projects. thing. We've this is a show where projects. I can feel confident saying that. And you I'm know what? I'm probably here's, gonna shoot oh, oh my gosh. something. At I'm some sorry, Rob. Point. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize. Wow. I didn't, who's talking I, to me right now? What? Sorry, it's, there's it's someone Paul in my Shear. ear. Molly, there's someone no, in my headset. No, Rob. It's it's me. It's Paul. I I didn't even know. I didn't know you were gonna. No, Rob, it's it's Paul. Oh, I was I didn't here. I've been here. Yeah. You. I didn't recognize you oh, because man. I haven't seen you in wow. five or six fucking weeks. Wow. Wow. Who are you? Wow. Who even are you? Rob, a lot of things have changed in my life. Um, I got uh, you know, obviously the camera contract really became a big thing. You know, people Love my camera and they, I went around already the world. plugging things. Some things never change, do they? Plug, plug never plug, plug, plug. This, you know what? You guys didn't have enough plugs. I watched every one of those shows you did. Not enough plugs. My daughter, I can hear my daughter outside going, What's wrong, Daddy? Who are you yelling at? I'm yelling <laughs> at an, I'm yelling at an ex-friend. Uh, you know what? Um, I was on uh I was on Crank Yankers plug. But oh, um, God, plug. but my kids, I was doing a bit where I was yelling at someone and my kids came in and they were, dad, what's wrong? And, and I was on the middle of the prank phone call and it made it into the actual episode, oh, but it God. is so hard to explain to them oh, that you're impossible. not really mad. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. I fucked up. Oh, I should maybe I'll send it to Molly that I have a okay. video that I made in the quarantine where at the beginning of quarantine, I went for a walk with my daughter and there's a bridge near our house that you can hike okay. under. And I went under this bridge oh, no. and I was trying to be funny and make a video where I was yelling, no, like, no, like, why is this happening? And it's yeah, yeah. really echoey and whatever. But I didn't tell my daughter I was going to do that. I just started screaming, no. And she, poor thing, oh, no. lost her, you know, flipped her shit. And I have, you know, I never posted it. I, no one's ever seen it. It's humiliating. It's the worst parenting I've ever done. But like the oh. point of the, this conversation is that kids are dumb, right? I mean, that's what uh, well, I mean. That's I mean, thing. finally, we can talk honestly and freely about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I actually have a, a very similar story to that, which is, all right, so last week, uh, I went to Disneyland. I was on vacation and we came Me back too. and went to Disney. Me and you too. went to Disney. We both yeah. were in uh, the happiest place on earth, which is but uh, you went you went before me. Yeah. I didn't I didn't yes. know that you were there. Yeah. Um it was, I mean, first of all, let's talk about that experience in the sense of it is the I, I felt the most safe there. I mean, but it is strict. It was like the yeah. lines have like the, the lines have lines that you have to stand on. So you keep the six feet apart. You got to yeah. order everything mobile. You got to keep your mask on at every given point, even though it's you're a, outside. It's a, it's a pretty big pain in the ass right now to go to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> These are great things to complain about, by the way. <laughs> it is such a pain to go to Disneyland uh, right now, guys. Well, but it's tricky because you're going with kids and you want them to yeah. have like this really fun experience. And like when yeah. my kid is like, I want to have a water. I'm like, hold on. Let me get out my Disney app and I'll mobile order it and it will be ready in 15 to 20 minutes. It's like but <laughs> yeah. the cart is right there. Yeah. yeah. They're not doing that though right <laughs> <I> now. <know. laughs> we did the same thing with ice cream. I went up to buy ice cream and they're like, you have to 
order on the app, but I didn't have good reception. Like where right. it was on that, we were in California <laughs> adventure and there's just like bad reception. And I was like, yeah, I'm showing you it's not working, bro. And the guy's like, I don't know what to tell you. And I'm like, my oh. child is fucking going to flip her shit if you don't get me some ice cream. So I ended up, you know, stabbing. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, that's, and that's okay him. because, and you can do that once. Yeah. You get uh, one free once, stabbing. Yeah. Exactly. If you, yeah, if you yeah, get a yeah, park yeah. hopper, with parking, you can stab one employee. You can stab not fatally. <laughs> no, just a shiv, <laughs> just a mild shiv. Did you but have a good you, time at Disneyland? I did, but I scared my kid. This is like you were talking about that story about scaring your daughter, and I was like, "Yeah." So my youngest son, who is four, used to hate roller coasters. And on what's this, his name again? Uh, what's his name? Twanch. Uh, Twanch. Twanch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, after the the fruit and after Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I so Twanch. You know, he used to hate roller coasters. We went to Disneyland and he had a roller coaster breakthrough. He was like, I love them. And he was like wow. just all in on roller coasters. And my older yeah. son really likes roller coasters, but also wants a more scary kind of adventure or whatever. You know, so we were going to go on this Rise of the Resistance ride. And that is a ride where it's a Star Wars ride and and you like get sucked into uh, a first order starship and then you're escaping. It's it's one of hands down the best rides I've ever been on, wow. but it's more of a, a theme ride than it is like a roller coaster. It's like so much fun stuff is going on. Yeah. And my son was like, I don't want to go on that. I'm scared of it. And I'm like, well, there's nothing to be scared. of. It's just it's just like a roller coaster. It's just like there's a story to it. And so, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't want to go. So I. I Take and is it phone. a real roller coaster or is it one of those um, things where you're watching a movie and no, you're moving. really moving around. It's okay. truly like I could go on and on about it. It is amazing. Yeah. Like you get brought into this room. Is where this a like plug? These... Just because I do need to know if it's a plug. I mean, look, if I could get to the front of the line on Rise of the Resistance, I'll make it a plug. Uh, they Like you get like it, it, it really is undescribable because it's so many types of rides all at once. Yeah. Um, and so what I did was I showed him a video of it online. I was like, here. Is what's going to happen. You're going to see. So I kind of like spoiled the ride for him just so he would be comfortable <laughs> knowing like, yeah. okay. And, I was, and he's like, but is it safe? I'm like, yes. He goes, are they going to, they're going to hurt us on this ride? I'm like, no, no one's going to hurt us. We're in Disneyland. Yeah. But my, my young kid's imagination is so big that yeah. immediately as we were going on the ride, he turns to me, he goes, are we in space? Are we in outer space? Yeah. And I want to be like, yes, we are. But then I know that's going to make him cry. I'm no, no, no. We're not in space, but don't tell yeah, your brother yeah. that we're, you know, we're, we're <laughs> yeah. pretending we're in space. So, okay, we're yeah. Pretending. Like, yeah, yeah, we're pretending. And so I'm walking with him and I'm walking with him and going through and, and I can tell like, he's just nervous because you're walking through essentially like the Death Star and you're, you yeah. know, it's not the Death Star. I understand it. And, uh, and we get to this room and I'm explaining him everything. I'm like, okay, now they're going to yell at us. That's not even a real person. That's a screen. This person's going to be nice. <laughs> they're not going to touch us. Like, I'm really like whispering everything because his, you're like the my, sober, the sober buddy. Well, yeah, because my seven-year-old really wants to go on it, and I'm trying to yeah. like enjoy it with him. And, he, and like, so it's becoming like really complicated. And so we're going through, and there's a moment where Kylo Ren, uh, you're like your ship is kind of spying on him, and he yeah. turns around. Now it's not a real person; it's just like a robot animatronic thing. Mm -hmm. um, and Kylo Ren turns like get them, and then you the rest of the ride is you escaping kylo ren and he's chasing yeah. you from room to room and like there's a, a, a scene where a lightsaber comes through the ceiling spoiler. and like he's chasing you right spoiler and so we get out and and i'm i'm and i'm telling him everything and we're having fun and he's laughing it's all good and then the ride breaks so we're like we're, we're getting the we're getting out we're getting out and then it's the ray the like, <laughs> and 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 tears just explode in his face i'm like what, yeah. what's going on buddy i'm like what's wrong it's, it's okay it's okay we're fine we're fine and he turns to me deadly serious he's like kylo ren is gonna kill us yeah and and i realized like he thought like we were like in the theory of the ride like we're escaping and then we stop and then and the, it's like yeah <laughs> like he's like oh we failed now yeah. it is time for us to die and i walk well, it would like seem like it's part of the ride i mean like you know like jurassic park at universal yeah. they do that you know it's like oh we're going the wrong way oh no there's oh, dinosaurs. You know, right like, and then you like and to see him like really fear for his life yes, in this yeah. moment like oh fuck my dad lied to me like and Kylo like, Ren will he, kill how did he how did he do like yeah, this is a great sort of moment for you a window into his true character like was he uh in his mind the world was ending like was he yes. at all heroic or was he like 
worthless in a crisis. Like well, a I mean, total... it's four. So it's no, I mean, let me finish. This, but... Let me finish because <laughs> some kids will step up. You know, they 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 have it inside of them. There's a greatness. Right. Like a fight or flight moment. Yes. And, but it sounds like your kid may not have that hero quality that kids need Look, today to succeed. And no, my, no, my kid turned to me and said this as he's crying. He's like, hug me and hug me tight. Oh. <laughs> so that was, yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. so I hugged him really tight and I was trying to explain to him, but he just did not want to buy yes. that he was not ready to be killed. And like when yeah. the friendly Disney employee came over, she couldn't have been, couldn't have been nicer, couldn't have been less in character. She's like, hey, everybody, I'm Samantha and we had a little bit of a ride breakdown, but you know what? Yeah. And he's like, ah! <laughs> Yeah. Like his reaction to her was like she was going to be like, and I'm going to cut off your fucking head. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And so it was a it was one of the most traumatic experiences that I that I, I, I put him through. And then we get off that ride and I think, oh, my God, I've scarred this kid for the rest of his life. And he turns to me, and goes, that's my favorite ride. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> that's your favorite ride? It's you just so were you were in tears for 20 yeah. minutes. It's so weird, man. Kids like, you know, I, I always assume that people that watch the show do not have kids, that it's all like 18 year olds that are like, what are these fucking guys talking about their kids for? Yeah. But it it, it it always blows my mind how quickly something can go from like they think they're gonna hate it to like, oh, this is my favorite thing ever. I was yes. just nervous. I was nervous that it was gonna be scary and it's actually really fun. Well, I mean, how did your daughter do at Disney? <laughs> She did really good. We were in California Adventure and, you know, she's on a different level. She's not going on those scary rides like we're, um, you know, doing like Little Mermaid and that yeah. stuff. And Little Mermaid, she had a blast, you know, like she's, Great ride. she's yeah, she's obsessed with like the bad guys in movies or like same like she like like she loves um, the Wicked Witch in Wizard of Oz. She loves um, Ursula in the Little Mermaid thing, like is obsessed with whoever is evil to the yes. point where I'm a little bit worried about like we have Cruella. We've been watching Cruella. So she's all into like Cruella, you know, like I'm going to probably I'm probably raising someone that's going to be like torturing, you know, animals. No, but my I think it's like you want to connect with the bad guys because I feel like there's some like there's a power in the bad guy or something like that. Cause my son was screaming at Kylo Ren, like the real Kylo Ren is like, Kylo Ren, you're the worst. You're the worst. And he's like, join me. And he's like, okay. And then like, he was marching with a group of kids. It's like, that was it's just more easy. interesting. It's more interesting. To, the bad guys are always more interesting. They're better characters. Yes. And it is funny to see that through a kid's eyes. Like kids are just like, Oh, that's the cool person. Like the guy that's, yeah holding everyone hostage it's gonna blow up the world like i want to be like that guy um yeah it's really funny like and they're also in movies they're always just the more flamboyant colorful character where yeah. the good guys are just sort of like you know average guys you know whatever chris pratt fucking you know oh, oh, look pratt. at my abs you know <laughs> um but um yeah man well but it is crazy to walk around there and see so many people in Disneyland and like, you know, you do have to wear your mask right now. And I was sort of like, are these people vaccinated? And you know, Oh yeah. We've, we've talked about this, like luckily in California, you know, they've been doing all these crazy things to get people vaccinated. Like that's been really funny. Like I think California's given yeah. away like millions and millions of dollars. And well, now, did you see now I'm just laughing because all these other States have all these crazy things they're doing. So well, nuts. I mean, it, it started, it kind of started with that whole thing. Like, did you see that, uh, it was like Krispy Kreme would give you a donut if yeah. you if you like showed your vax card. But then like people did like the the real research to it. And it was like, oh, actually, if you have a vax card, you get a free donut. But if you can give us a good reason why you didn't get a vaccine, you can also get a donut. And I was like, <laughs> that's not let's not do that. Like, what? <laughs> it was such a weird like a, it was like, it. we don't want to alienate anybody. If you don't want to get vaxxed, you can still get free donuts. But can you imagine they, being like and didn't explain? Um, I have a I weird have a echo, echo on my mind. Is, is that just oh. me or is that everybody? I'm not hearing an echo. Okay, okay, okay good. Um, um, I think it's when we show slides, I might get an echo, but uh, oh, okay. there you go. It just stopped. It just stopped, whatever you okay. just did. Um, yeah, like w is West Virginia giving away guns? Somewhere Somewhere oh. is giving away guns for, oh, I, yeah, I think and, like you can get a gun. I, well, I know that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, that uh, North Carolina 
is giving away free grills. If oh, you get, yeah, yeah. Like, I yeah. saw that. I saw that. That's awesome. And then yeah. I think South Carolina is giving – Oh, I got to Google it. I forgot what it was that they're giving away. The uh, you you might have it. What's the um, oh? Is it uh, is it the uh, the speed boats? Oh yeah, the cigarette boats. Yeah, that's yeah. All, I mean, all you have to do is you get your vaccine, you get a fucking cigarette boat in South and Carolina. That's like that's way. I mean, honestly, like I don't know how they're making money on that. I mean, because like, other states I, are doing like simple stuff. Like I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, like I mean, like uh, who, yeah, who's giving away the uh, uh, the box set? Oh yeah, New Jersey's giving away a box set of Family Matters DVDs. See, that's I feel like smart. That's, yeah, that's, that's smart easy. because yeah. like that's not going to break the bank of the state. You know, like they probably have enough uh, DVD, uh, you know, supply companies lying around that they can. You know, yeah, they're, they're not, not even Blu-rays. Ruin. Yeah, 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 yeah they're, they're just all, like yeah, they're, they're just DVDs. Yeah. I mean, it's and it, you know, and look, yeah. there's eight, there's nine seasons, so I mean, it is a lot of DVDs. But uh, Some again, of it you know, to me, is so specific. Like, I think I saw in, I think it was in like Wyoming, or they're giving away the, um, the the uh, what was the guy's name that landed the plane? The um, oh, uh, Sully. Oh yeah, Sully yeah, Sullen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is oh no, some... you know, you know what it is? I I think you may have been confused. With this. I saw that too. I thought, oh, they're giving away Sully's costume. They're actually giving away. Uh, Sully from Monsters Inc. Oh, uh, I used oh, uh, I used uh, costume for sex. Okay. Yeah, that was because like, I was so yeah. confused. I was like, why would they? Wh- how yeah, are they going to they... give away Sully Sullenberger's flight uniform? Yeah, this is more of like a furry thing. I think <laughs> oh. I think that state is known for furry. So that is a used oh, uh, Sully costume. So yeah, that's just really. like a weird furry sex suit. Is that what it's? Yeah, for? but I mean, you know, but I guess you know it, it. It does have different holes cut out, you know, for whatever, you know. But uh, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's good, you know. Um, yeah. Well, that's good that they cut out all those, but they're gonna have to give away a ton of those. Like, yeah, you know? apparently they have a, a surplus of them. I guess there was like a big like Pixar furry convention and yeah. you know the way that they do that is like once you use a suit once you just like dump it in a dumpster so i think some hilton donated about two thousand of them that's crazy yeah that really not crazy yeah yeah do you have any other ones that you uh that you've been uh, excited uh i'm about? trying to think i'm trying to think of some of the other ones the oh i mean you know i love music and uh i yeah. always love like 80s metal videos yes. stuff like that and uh, I was blown away to see that Florida is giving away the uh, double necked electric guitars. Like that's, that's fucking cool. That's rad. really cool. I mean, you know, so cool, man. I don't it's even gonna play, be, but I don't play either. But I would learn uh, probably twice as fast if I had a double neck guitar. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh my god, I would. I mean, look, I would like get in there. I get that vax. I mean, the other thing is this: it's about really like what's going to get you your vax card. I mean, truly, because it's like. That's going to get me vaxxed. I mean, and, well, and for animal that, lovers. Yeah. 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 Well, I was thinking about the animal thing. And um, my problem is that I have, I, I, I'm allergic well, to, I'm allergic to a lot of pet dander and stuff like that. Okay. And so I've heard some of these states are giving away pets. Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah. As and I thought, yeah. I don't know if that's a good idea because someone like me, I, I'm allergic, but if it's a hairless cat, you know, like the and that's, whole, that's Oklahoma. Yeah, that's right there. Oklahoma. That's a great idea. They're going to uh, have to get millions and millions of them to give them away. But these are all super fun programs. And I think it's getting people excited. And I will tell people, if you're watching this and you're in one of these states, get your shot, get your prize. Because there's a lot uh, yes. of great prizes. But there are some that are weird. I, like There's some bizarre ones like oh. that I feel like people aren't even trying. Like, Do you see that Rhode Island did this thing where... They're just giving away uh, used ticket stubs to old movies. So this is for like the lost world. So I, uh, I, I mean, I don't know what you would even do with it. It's not like it's not a ticket to a movie. It's a ticket that someone used for a it movie. Doesn't that's not well, Rhode Island's going to figure it out because they're yeah. going to see their their vax numbers drop. OK, yeah, because if I other don't... states are giving away dental grills and cigarette yeah. boats and Family Matters DVDs. Good luck, Rhode Island. <laughs> good luck. I mean, yeah, good luck. I mean, you know, but I think like, you know, again, we live in Hollywood and I think oh, we're used to like really cool stuff that we get access to. And yeah, I didn't know about this, but in Hollywood, if you live in Hollywood and you get, you know, this thing, this is like one of our favorite movies. Oh, uh, what yeah, you get here. It. This is I so cool. It. I didn't even know they had multiples of them. Uh, but they're giving away, I mean, how would you even describe this? It's like a, well, I mean, it's a procedure. It's a medical procedure, I think to, uh, yeah. f- to, to get people excited about getting vaccinated. If you don't like the way you look right now, come to California, uh, come to Hollywood, get your vax in Hollywood and they'll give you 
the face off surgery from yeah. the movie, the hit movie face off. Uh, and and you can, actually, but you can only get Travolta, Travolta or yeah. Nick Cage's face. Like, right. Yeah. I mean, like it's not there. You're not, you're not exchanging your face with theirs, but that's the, they've only figured out that level of technology, I guess. Or something. Yeah. The technology like, is not there for like me and you to switch faces. They're, right. You can only get Travolta's face or Nick Cage's face. And to be fair, it's not, uh, actual human flesh. It is a silicon uh, substitute. Ooh. But uh, but you know, it's still cool to look. I, I personally, I would rather look like Travolta than look like myself, even if it is a little oh, kind of yeah. Hannibal lecter -y, You know, it's because it is going to look weird at the beginning. I mean, but by the way, that's also, I mean, that's kind of peak Travolta. I mean, we talk about this all the time. We, you know, if you're going to get any Travolta face, get peak Travolta face. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, that, I, mean, I think that's, that's frankly, I think that's a better program than what they're doing in Hawaii. Cause like the one in Hawaii with uh, the Tom Cruise. Oh uh, uh, yeah. This is weird. Yeah. I just don't understand how this is even going to work. Like why would anyone want uh, a wax replica of Tom Cruise? You know, like, and, and how many of those, how many of those yeah. are we going to be able to drum up, you know? And it's also like, it, it, like I don't have the body for it. And, uh, you know, and, I mean, and like you know what, to yeah. be honest, you could have some fun with it. You know, you got, like, I can yeah. think of some fun things to do with, with Tom Cruise's face and mouth and head, but I don't, after a while, I'm going to get bored with it, you know? Like, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I mean, I guess it's not driving me to get a vaccine. I mean, I'm excited. I, I you know, to me, I'd rather get this, like, I, I think it's a John Ritter head, but, uh, but I guess that's not that that's not for that. I, I don't know what that's for. Technically. Yeah, I don't know. what I don't know what that's for. But these are all, you know, I applaud these states uh, efforts. I think it is yes. good to, to get us to where we need to be by July 4th. We're trying to get 75 percent vaccinated. Some of these states are dragging their feet and whatever it takes, man, it's cheaper than crashing their health care system and, and their hospitals. And yeah. Everything. So. And we'll get the uh, we'll all get the Bud Lights, right? I think it's it, where it was a Bud Light with lime to Biden Prime, and that was the thing I think he lost a lot of people with because he said everyone can get a beer, and then when you read the fine print, it was Bud Light with lime. Is that true? I didn't. know Or that. Bud Light yeah. with Bud Light seltzer. Those are the two. Yeah. Now for me, that's right up my alley. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go yeah. to is town. Is this a plug? I feel like this might be a plug. Look, I can't. I can't confirm or deny, but that Bud Light is the best tasting beer on the planet. But I can tell you this yeah. much: that was definitely that, uh, a plug. The last, uh, part, all the last part of what you said was it felt like an ad. Hey, you know what? And I know that you do have a reputation yeah. for sneaking ads in and getting paid when I'm not wow. getting paid. You know, it's, it, again, I, like I, I find that kind of, uh, I kind of find that attack really offensive, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. because it, that's why I got to sit back with a nice Bud Light Lime and just, you know, pretend I'm on the beach again, back on vacation where I'm just free and clear, you know, and it, and because of the low calorie content, I can kind of pound seven or eight or nine of those. I don't think the the whoever's writing the ad copy for Bud Light with Lime should not be including Hold that on, you I'll can read what pound they... that you can pound seven or eight or nine of them. And this is what it says because they're low carb. Say Bud Light <laughs> with Lime. With... Bud Light with Lime is low in calories, so you can go to town and pound down some oh. Bud Light with Lime. Don't hit your kids. Don't yell at your wife. But you can hit the gas on your car to get some more Bud Light. God, now, I think that is recommending so drunk many, driving. Too, there's yeah. so many problems with that commercial. I would really talk to uh, the the Bud the Bud people about that. I don't want to question weird. Them so it's far. Weird. Yeah, it, it's I get it from a Clydesdale. A Clydesdale delivers. I I hear like a a, a, a hooven foot kind of on the door and. Uh, and yeah. then I know, like, oh shit, this is the the Bud Light horse is here, and I and he and there's something wrapped around his neck. I take it and I just read it. Can I hear? Can I hear your uh, Michael Winslow of a horse hoof on the door again? Because yeah, was sure. Not... And again, I'm not going to do the neighing because that's not what I'm recreating. I just want to hear the sound effect. Yeah, <laughs> that's the hoof on the door. <laughs> you are you are a Michael Winslow. Thank I mean, you. Uh, yeah. Really Do you good. remember his name from Police Academy? Sergeant. Uh, was he a sergeant? Did he make it the sergeant? <laughs> oh, I just heard someone say on a podcast. I can't remember. I think it was Justin Long on his podcast said mm -hmm. that he met him somewhere. Yeah. And and he was like, uh, hey, man, you know, uh, you know, it's nice to meet you. I'm not doing his story justice. Yeah. But he said uh, and he and 
Michael Winslow just immediately started off doing sound effects. And Justin was really like taken by it and was like, yeah, dude, that is so cool. Like, I can't believe, thank you so much. Like, anyway, so what's going on, dude? Like, how are you? And the guy's like, yeah. And then like, after like 10 minutes, like he, Justin just couldn't get through to him. And then he like, he, the guy's like, okay, I'll see you later. Like was leaving and like walks out. It was like, like doing it on the that. way. Out. Like <laughs> his own footsteps. But oh my God. That, uh, that like has me. one, has one button, which is <laughs> sound effects on. <laughs> Uh, well, we uh, we have some great guests tonight, Rob. We didn't even tell people yes. who we have. We have uh, Jerry O'Connell is going to be here tonight calling in from somewhere in Calabasas. We but don't know where. We don't know where. We know our, our first guest tonight is uh, a good friend of ours who is uh, an incredibly funny uh, comedian, performer, and a writer. He uh, is one of the voices on Big Mouth and also one of the writers of Big Mouth. Uh, yeah. Please welcome Joe Wenger. Here we go. Joe Pop Wenger, everybody. Joe Get Wenger. Here we go. Welcome in. Pop hey, hello. Pop what's up, yeah. buddy? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. People are excited <laughs> to see you. Look at this. Got a lot of Joe, Joe, Joes, a lot of claps. Howdy, oh, Joes. Shit. I yes. just only discovered the comments and I and I cut them. Uh, I shut them off because that's. I think that oh, that's yeah. smart. It's distracting. <laughs> it's distracting. Um, There's how you doing? Lot. Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm great. <laughs> I love that we have. I love that we act like we have a weird delay. Um, Joe, how was your pandemic? Did you have a blast? Oh yeah, I had the best time. Uh, no, it was terrible, and this is the room I spent all of it in. And uh, you know, it was bad. did you did you manage to crank out a fantastic comedy special like Bo Burnham in your room there? No, I didn't. Um, have you seen it, Sheer? Have you seen it's so I have good. not seen it yet, and I oh have only God. heard it's amazing, and I have not it's had a chance so to watch it. That I I had to I had to go to bed. I literally watched it and I was so impressed that I got depressed and had to go to sleep. I was like, good night. I can't, I can't like it's really good. I don't want to overhype it, but it is it is really good. No, I love Bo, and I feel like uh what a great way to spend your time because I feel like that's how the the pandemic kind of broke down. I met people who were like, I'm on my fifth feature script. And I met other people who were like, I haven't gotten off the couch in a week. <laughs> like, yeah. It was a real weird way of judging like how people are trying to pass the time. What are they doing? What are they yeah. getting into? Yeah. Um, I, I tried to keep myself constantly busy, but it wasn't with anything productive. And yeah. if there's any way that I can now sort of transition from being a comedian to being like a, professional jigsaw puzzler that's sort of what i'm looking to do once once i, I got a special table up. for it oh yeah uh, with with drawers where i can move it around from room to room and that really like uh that opened up my pandemic i was like this is great i can do this in the kitchen i can do this in the living room forget it that's so smart i just commandeered half of the dining room table and that, and then my wife was always <laughs> like you're doing another one now and now it's just you you're going to do this puzzle about birds and so <laughs> we don't have uh, half of our I'm, dining room table okay i'm not a a jigsaw puzzle guy what is the what is the appeal of that is it just something to do to occupy your hands and your mind like to me it just seems like it would be um, frustrating and maddening, uh, but maybe that's part of it. I mean, I, I I don't I don't like stuff like that. I don't really like escape rooms. You guys seem like you would. Oh, I love like, an escape room. You guys seem like the kind, and I'm not trying to insult either one of you, but frankly, yeah. <laughs> you seem like you would both like be the kind of guys that gets thrown out of an escape room because you're jacking off. Uh, you know, hey, well, like, that's really come on, man. I, I'm not off. trying to. I'm not trying Only to insult you. I'm Only if the game to... master is asking us to do that would I attempt to do that. I wouldn't do that if that wasn't part of the rule-based system. And yeah, I've been to a Fifty Shades uh, of Grey <laughs> escape room, and that was one of the ways that you had to get out. You had to I... jack off until the, the the ropes from the ceiling dropped. <laughs> I I it, I acknowledge that I look like a person that would like escape rooms, but I'm actually I've only done one, and I did a very bad job with it. And I went with a group of friends, and I kind of like 
there was one task where it was like, clearly we had to like, you had to put these paintings in an order and I started doing it. And then I just like abandoned it and like went and looked in drawers or something. So then when we were done and we didn't get out of the room, the like host person singled me out and was like a big misstep at the beginning was when this oh. guy just stopped doing the paintings <laughs> and you got to tell somebody if you're not going to finish the paintings, it was oh, like, no. he, like chastised me in front of my friends. <laughs> I, that's, I have my experience. The condescending like uh, puzzle master is the best character. <laughs> like I, that's such a great character. Just what a fucking dick. It's like, like I wasn't I'm watching doing this, this whole try time. And, like get better at it or get tips. It's like we're just spending we're an just, evening here for fun. <laughs> we're just hanging out. That's my funny. whole thing that I've gone with a handful of people that get too into the escape room in the sense that Look, I've paid my X amount of dollars to be in a fake submarine or an 80s rec room or whatever the hell I'm in. And I understand that this is a room that's turned over multiple times in a night. So what am I not going to do? Pull the, the stuffing out of the cushions of the couch. That's not going to happen. I've seen people stand on top of furniture and try to like open up the ceiling panels. I'm like, guys, we're not like we're not really in a room. Like we don't have to break out, but like that mentality of like let's break it all. It's, it's no, it's it is a puzzle. It's like yes, blow on the Nintendo cartridge and then put it in the thing. It's not like it's not like uh, you know it's not buried within the wooden fibers of a of a coffee table on the side there that you're trying to like make uh, you know a makeshift uh, shiv with. Well, my cousin Keith says that he's undefeated, and that's only because he brings a loaded handgun to every escape room, and then he just like, <laughs> threatens people until he lets them out. It's the only way to get out. It's out oh, so fast. <laughs> did you ever? Did you ever hear the story? Um, so Steven Seagal, at the height of his Steven Seagalness, whatever, is doing ADR. And for those of you who don't know ADR, like you, you uh, oftentimes. You know, when you're editing a movie, there might be an issue with the sound. So you have to go back in and re-record a line that you've already done. So it it sounds good or it or you tweak something. And, you know, it's very commonplace. Every single movie that you've seen has this. So Steven Seagal goes in to do it. And uh, they're like, all right, so Steven, on this line, uh, can we just do this take? And he did it. And they're like, okay, maybe a little bit faster. And I, And he just goes down to his shirt and lifts it up and shows the guy a gun. Like just show like what? too faster, and the guy's like, uh, I, "I guess we got it. I guess we got." It. But like threatening a person, like what do I? I just love that mentality. It's like this is your job. But why would you threaten this man? That's the best. Wasn't he sort of famously in a bunch of movies, like because he was forced to be in it, like like basically like the Russian mafia had some sort of like hooks in him and they're like, no, no, you're going to keep doing these movies. And like, what? I like, I think he, yeah, I think he owed like a bunch of money to like Russian gangsters or something like that. So he's just like, yeah, I'll do whatever movie there. Oh, like I think you're right now. Now he's yeah, in that yeah. position. Yeah. But yeah. When he was at his height of his career. Yeah. I think he owes money. Like he, Steven Seagal has had a amazing career. He had an energy drink that I loved. He has a bunch of acoustic. Wait, uh, why are you albums. sucking Steven Seagal's dick all of a sudden? <laughs> I just, I, I just like what, you know, it's like every now and then, like when you, or this is just me going late at night and you're like, Oh, Steven Seagal, what's this? I'm Googling this. And all of a sudden I'm listening to like his, you know, his music. And I'm like, okay, he's got four albums out and he has an energy drink and he's going over here. I'm like, what is, I want to know what's going on in the world of Steven Seagal. So that was, I went on a deep dive with him one night and just found all the stuff. But I think now he does, he's tied into Russia on some level, but if you want a great experience, you have to read his books. He writes novels now as well. And they are written like Steven Seagal films. <laughs> so they are, a true, a true treat is a Steven Seagal novel. That's bananas. That's so crazy. Joe, um, Sheer just got back from Hawaii, and uh, I have not really taken a vacation since the pandemic. Did, have you gone anywhere? Or are you venturing back out into the world at all? Uh, in August, I went out to Palm Springs yeah, uh, yeah, just yeah. To, as an effort to be anywhere else. And that's not the time to go to Palm Springs. It was like 115 <laughs> degrees. Um, and it was like a vacation, but it not really because 
my wife and I have a two-year-old who's a one-year-old at the time, just starting to walk. And like yeah. the pictures of the place didn't accurately convey how many glass coffee tables there were in the house. Oh, yes, so it was just yes. like three days where I was like, don't collide into a thing and die yeah, yeah, with my yeah. child. Um, and then we brought my dog. I have a Bichon poodle mix named Tony. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a picture of him uh, right there. Uh, oh, that's, a, that's, a cat, right? um, that's a cat, right? But he, uh, no, that's sorry, a Sorry, 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 Joe, sorry, Joe. Do you think cats are dogs? Do I think cats are dogs? You know what a I dog is. I don't know how to answer is. that question. No, I mean, you know a, what a dog is. A tricky cats question. are very affectionate. They like to play sort of tug of war with things. Okay. And okay. Um, no, dogs, dog. very cold. Um, no, those are very cats. Very spooky. Those are I associate yeah, them. Yeah, you don't know. know. Yeah, he, he is confused. He got them, he got them backwards. Very, yeah, you flipped, you flipped them around. You flipped them. I think maybe when you were little, they taught you... Or maybe you just weren't at school the day they went over it. Um, I don't think you need to common, go to school for very, a about cats and it's dogs. It's very movies about common. It. It's very There's two common. movies about it, specifically cats and dogs. If this is a cats fucking plug too. for the movie Cats and Dogs, Paul. Cats and Dogs 2, The Revenge of Pussy Galore. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Joe. Go ahead with your story about Tony. Uh, <laughs> just that, you know, we were trying to relax and we were almost getting to that place. And then on... Uh, the second to last day, he got a subluxation of his kneecap. His kneecap popped Whoa. out. And Ooh. it was deep in the pandemic. So I was calling every uh, vet in Palm Springs. And I was like, I'm an asshole from L.A. And my dog, I need help with my dog. And they were like, fuck you. You can't come here. Um, oh. And so I had to drive to like palm desert and then sit in a parking lot for a long time and then they they were able to squeeze him in but i spent one of the days of my vacation in a parking lot in palm desert with my dog oh man, man. when your dog gets that all they can do for them is just give him a cortisone shot for pain but yeah. they did give him one of those and then immediately he was fine so it had a happy ending in that way but we we at one point when there was terrible fires in la uh june just drew like looked at a map of where the fires were in la and just saw where they stopped. And she's like, we're going there. And there just happened to be Scottsdale, Arizona. So we just drove to Scottsdale. And our and our dog had never been around um, a pool. So we like immediately walk out into the backyard. And the dog's like, blop, blop, blop. Just like right into the pool as if it was just concrete. Like he just like, and he went, and my dog is like a 90 pound uh, English bulldog. And he went right to the bottom. And I've never <laughs> seen June, like June is like, whew, just jumped right into the pool, pulled him right out. And now our dog will go nowhere near, like he now he's like, got it. Not for me, but <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know that dogs could sink like weights. Like it was just like, poof. <laughs> That's amazing. The the uh the guys whose house it was in Palm Springs were there when we showed up and the other nightmarish part of this vacation was my daughter was extremely car sick at this point because the car seat was still going backwards and we yeah. hardly ever drove in the car because of the pandemic. Right. And so this sounds like an exaggeration. She threw up five times on the way there. Oh and like God. she threw up the one time when we were like halfway through and then we were like, okay, well, we, we pulled over and my wife brought a change of clothes and we got her changed and we put all the new stuff on. And then we like stopped in a Starbucks drive through and we were like, let's get a little tr treat for ourselves and then keep going. And then as soon as we hit the highway again, she just immediately oh, threw up again. No. So uh. by the end, we just had her in her diaper because yeah. we didn't want to keep getting her dressed again. So when we pulled up, it was just like we got out of the car all haggard and like she was in a diaper and it smelled like barf. <laughs> we were just like, we're going to sleep in a bed oh, in your house now. Are you oh, excited yeah. about that? <laughs> yeah, every house that I've ever rented in Palm Springs is always like so many sharp corners, so much glass like so much mid-century, you know, tables. Furniture to like, do cocaine on. I mean, that's really what it feels yeah. like. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for little kids. Like we end up just like throwing a blanket over every coffee table, every like fucking thing, you know, and it's like we still break so much shit, you know. It's oh, impossible. our kids literally ran into a house that we rented. I don't even know how it happened because it was like we opened the door. They ran to wherever they thought their bedroom was going to be. We were just walking through, like through it, and all I heard is, oh, "I think we broke the door." And we're like, 
How did you? I, 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 they almost they just ran right to a thing and they broke a, a closet door um, within seconds. I was like, yeah. it is. And then I just then I feel the guilt of that the entire time. I'm like, I feel like a terrible like tenant or whatever, an Airbnb or, and I'm afraid about a bad review. So I'm like going to Home Depot to try to buy like new things to fix it so they don't see it. I, I hate it. I've got, I, I get to the point now though where I look at most of those houses and not just in Palm Springs, but like any sort of Airbnb or whatever. And you know, like if you're, if you, if you, if you are them, if they, if you were renting out your house, yeah. you don't have, you don't have nice stuff. It's all garbage furniture, not garbage, right. but it's all like kind of crappy, you know, like everyone's just breaking stuff and ruining your grill. And, you know, like, I feel like they kind of know that it's going to get, they're, they're renting their house out, you know, you have to assume the worst. Yeah. 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 Joe, are you reading? Uh, are you reading any books? Are you, you I, again, I don't want to. I feel like I, I stepped on your toes when I said you seem like a guy that would like an escape room, but <laughs> you do seem like someone who would read a lot. Are you reading any good summer books or anything? No, like wrong that? again, man. I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> laying on my side and looking at my phone and yeah. wondering why I can't fall asleep. Um, no, I I I read a cup. I read. Um, a couple of books during the pandemic at nighttime to like try and sort of get myself to fall asleep. I read the, I yeah. wrote, I, I read this book called less that was very good, but the past couple of weeks I've been reading a potty training book because we're doing oh. potty training. Right I, now. I, I feel for you, but that's you know, not a chill way to go to sleep. So no, no not at all. but doing. we want to play a game with you, Joe, uh, okay. which will require you to do a little bit of quick thinking here. We want to have you play this game that we're going to call, uh judge a book by its cover we're yeah. going to show you the cover of a book and we want you to see if you can guess what you think this book is about okay i don't so, know i don't know these either uh paul yeah paul, i i do paul so i'm like the game master here i i'm going to tell you where you're right or wrong all right so here's our first you're, book. you're the condescending puzzle master okay yes our first book is the silent patient Ooh. the silent patient what do you what do you think the silent patient is about is it non-fiction is it fiction what, what, what do you think the silent patient is gosh um, i think uh this is a romantic comedy i think it's fiction <laughs> and i think it's uh, about a person with a lot of debilitating health issues and he goes to a doctor's appointment and he falls in love with the doctor and so he's not Ooh. saying anything about what's going on with him Wow, Ooh, I like this. I like that. That was a very uh, yeah. Rob, go what do you think? Different way. Well, I was going to go a different way. There, there. Um, there's a. I'm dating myself here, but there's a Metallica video called uh, One, and it's about. Um, and they keep showing this old black and white movie of this guy who was blown up in a <clears throat> in the war, and he has no arms, no legs, uh, he can't see, can't speak, or anything. So he's literally just a like kind of like a, you know, a torso in a hospital bed, and he can't talk. All he can do is sit there and think and he can't move. And so all he wants to do is die. Like that's all he wants to do is die. And so that's what the song is about. This Metallica song. Yeah. This guy wanting someone to kill him. <laughs> and so I'm assuming that's what the silent patient. Well, wow, this is, is. A really dark, uh, really dark. No, you're both wrong. Uh, what? The silent what? patient. Yes, you're both wrong. The silent patient is a shocking psychological thriller about a woman's act of violence against her husband. And the therapist obsessed with uncovering her motive. One evening, her husband, Gabriel, returns home late from a fashion shoot. And Alicia shoots him five times in the face. What? And never says another word. Wow. A silent patient. So wow. that is uh, that is over here. Uh, these books. Uh, we were never, gonna we were never going to get that one. Mm -hmm. Five times in the face. Is tricky. Uh, is well, that I would important? Is that on the jacket? Like, is that on the? Uh, is I, that look? I don't know. I mean, oh. uh, this is this is the one that I'm excited about for you guys. Okay. Uh, this is Love Lex, uh, and I will tell you uh, this: it's uh, from the best-selling author of the Manhattanites. That's what I'll tell you. <laughs> well, at the top, am I allowed to cheat? It says hilarious. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah, sure. Love Lex is new adult at its naughtiest. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If that's if you want to if you want to go in with some of that. Yeah. Okay. The undergrad years. Wow. I mean, this has to be about, you know, a young college girl exploring his sexual, her sexuality, uh, probably, you know, being very naughty, 
Uh, there's probably a lot of very graphic sex in this. Okay. Um, and I would probably listen to it on audiobook. I probably wouldn't read this, I, but I would buy the audiobook. Okay. Uh, Joe, you, you're going to agree with me? <laughs> yeah. You're going to agree think, with me? Uh, no, I'm going to go in a different direction because I think I heard an announcement about this. This is from a um, sort of a gender reversed uh, Superman <laughs> series that they're doing right now. Um, and it's from the point oh, of yeah. view of, uh, of a female uh, Lex Luthor. And she, um, this is a, a, from one where in fighting Superman, she gets hurt. And then so she has some serious injuries and she has to oh. uh, go to the doctors. And then she mm. ends up falling in love actually with this doctor that she goes to see. Now you I, heard an announcement. Joe said he heard an announcement. Yes, he did hear an announcement. About, you know, I, I'm going to say that uh, the people in chat love Joe's, uh, Joe's version of this. It, unfortunately, it has nothing to do with Superman at all. He heard they, uh, an announcement. Paul. I know. Well, maybe, maybe it was the wrong one because Love Lex. Um, and this is written in Lex's voice. This summer, I had planned to celebrate my 18th birthday in Europe. Sorry. <laughs> in Europe with my fellow Manhattanites, Taddy, Brill, Blake, Morgan, and Viv. Those until I caught names. my boyfriend screwing my mother. According what? to the police report, this vomit-inducing incident happened around the same time I supposedly blew up my mother's penthouse. Like I'm walking around Soho with a stick of dynamite in my Louis Vuitton purse. Now, me and my bestie are in jail. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this book is happening in jail? <laughs> this book is happening in jail after she no. blew up her mother's, or it's a, I guess she's got to clear her name, but the undergrad years really throws you for a loop. <laughs> like that's yeah. a, a typical undergrad story. <laughs> How you did some time in, in jail. Uh, and this author, this author is a best selling author. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. Uh the best selling one. I, I'll give you uh I'll give you another one here. Vom um, vomit inducing seemed a little on the nose. I mean we're just seeing a little, little heavy handed, yeah. Uh, I don't oh. know if you guys have been uh, interested in Sean know. Hannity's new book, Live Free or Die. <laughs> I'm sure you could get the idea of what this one might be about. Uh, uh, yeah, this is. I'm assuming this is where the Sean Hannity says that he wants to die because he's not free anymore. <laughs> so he's well, gonna, here's the. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, just that he's just going to slowly poison himself and die. That'd be a bummer. <laughs> be a real bummer. This this book is Sean's uh, kind of uh, wake up call to America, and mm. on the bottom you really can't see it, but if you look down here, there is um, there is a uh, a Latin saying. Some Latin, yeah. Which, uh, when translated, means nothing. Like someone translated it, and it has no, it has no meaning. <laughs> which what? I thought was a bold, a bold, uh, a bold thing. Uh, basically, this book is all about if we succumb to a democratic victory in 2020. Uh, <laughs> this is a big step to full blown socialism, along with economic dysfunction and social strife. Uh, we will be seeing a Green New Deal, socialized medicine, abortion on demand, open borders, abolishing of the Electoral College, packing the Supreme Court, and the end of free speech. This nation will be transformed beyond recognition, and the only future rests on Donald Trump's reelection. That is it. It's a whole book about reelecting Trump uh, right mm. there. That's well, he a, wasn't I, right about all that, but he was. I mean, I have been shredding the shit out of flags since. November. Yeah, me too. I man. know it's yeah, open season. I know can't nobody <laughs> stop me now. Nobody. And so I it's I use swords. I use knives. I use my yeah. Teeth. What do you Just yeah? What's your what's your favorite way to shred the flag? What do you do? You use swords and knives. Um, I actually it takes a little bit longer, but. I like to use a nice lemon zester and just. Really I like that too. The, yeah, the, that's a great way. Yeah, the, the then you can sprinkle that on some other stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's smart. That's smart. I will end on this one right here. Um, not to make fun of it, but to show you that this is a children's book. So prepare yourself for this children's book. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is yeah. a, a children. Uh, yeah, this is a children. <laughs> book called ground zero a novel of 9-11 yeah. uh, i guess it's about that time where we can just have, have like a, a a fun fiction kid adventure 
Yeah, it's like a uh, bunch of kids have fun and running, playing, playing hide and go seek in the rubble. Is that what it is? Like, <laughs> um, it looks like this kid is one of the architects of the events of nine eleven. <laughs> it looks like he's looking on the wreckage proudly, like he <laughs> like my job here is done. Started. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He's not <laughs> upset about it. He's sort of taking credit for it. Yeah, no, this is a book about a nine-year-old boy who goes to work for the day with his dad at the World Trade Center in New York City. When two planes hit the towers, Brandon and his father are trapped inside a fiery nightmare. Terror and confusion swirl around. Can they escape? And what would the world be like if they do? Who the fuck <laughs> would read that book? Who would I know. read this? I like it would it, be like, a I was like bummer. What a fucking bummer. That's crazy. It's so like I don't know why this like I I when I typed in New York Times bestsellers, this is like one of the first ones that popped up. Are you and I was kidding? Like, it's wild. And I was like, this is not like a fun, like I don't know if that's like the right angle. I also love that, like, what will like it's not enough, like if we escape, it's like what will happen. I don't think anyone's thinking about what will happen once we get out of here either. It's like what kind of like moments are the father and son having it's like it's like it's like they're having a coming of age story as they escape the flaming towers i think like, i don't i don't know <laughs> it's very bizarre uh <laughs> alan gratz so uh <laughs> alan alan are you finished with your book yet <laughs> not <laughs> yet <Yeah. laughs> i figured it out Kids want a 9-11 adventure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there we go. Some That's some uh, judging books by their cover. Uh, Joe, uh, what can we uh, tell people to do? Can follow you or where they can listen to you or anything? Yeah, they can uh, follow me on Twitter at Joe Wengert. And um, uh, uh, somebody just posted my bio from yeah. my Twitter. And, the, and oh, yeah. that's that's you guys. Great. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we'll get it out there. Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. Uh, the new season of Big Mouth, season four is out right now. Season five comes out this year. And uh, check that out. And then we got a lot of other uh, shows for, uh, from that are world you, coming out. Are you soon. a part of the uh, the Human Resources show that's coming up? Or is I that... am. I actually, they I they have transformed me into a hormone monster now. Gil oh, Ozeri and I play low-level hormone monsters who... Um, really suck at being hormone monsters oh, and, wow. uh, so they drew us and uh it's not flattering i'll say they took <laughs> they exaggerated all the worst parts of my physique for this hormone monster it's so funny uh, i feel like do, doing any voiceover stuff is so fun and then when you see on like most shows that I've done, you see yourself and you're like, oh, they made me look like the worst <laughs> version of myself or like just some fucking asshole guy. Like it's even oh, just I play so many incidental characters on that show. And if you like look at like IMDb, it's like sad teacher, creepy man, psycho, yeah. like it's all like loser. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> I, the, I remember like uh, whenever we would do an offer for stuff on NTSF. We would like because we would write the scripts and you'd be like, okay, we just need like sad teacher for this. And then we would never we'd offer it, we'd be like, we gotta give that person a name. So like so on their IMDB, it would never be like sad teacher. We'd always be like Jack McGinty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember a couple of times that we didn't do it, we would offer it to people and like, I do it, but you have to give my character a name, right? Yeah, of <laughs> yeah. course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you got a name. Here you go. Because I get it. It's like it's a shorthand. But uh, what they always do for me is they give me a gap in my teeth. Like whatever uh, animated character, like, how about this? Because And yeah. uh, one time, Manzukas and I were doing uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the cartoon. And I guess there's some miscommunication because they drew my character as Jason and Jason's character as me. And then when they finally saw it, they're like, oh, you guys messed up, and then they just kept it that way. So now I look like Jason on the show, and he looks like me. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, well, Joe, this is awesome. I can't wait to see the new season and that new series, which will be uh, a blast. Thanks so much for having me, guys. This was fun. Good yeah, to see you, later. buddy. Bye. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, it's been a long time that you and I have been together, Rob, yeah. and it's been even a longer time since we've gotten a, a dispatch from Calabasas. Here we go. Let's uh, see what's going on. Let's bring in Calabasas, uh, Jerry. Oh, here, oh there he is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Hi. Jerry. I'm just taking the, the doggies to a hike. Come on up. This is, well, this is Phil. 
Whoa. Yeah. You're on Look TV, the... Phil. <laughs> Jerry, you were out on the hiking trail. Yeah. You know, um, I have to tell you, I'm directly under a 5G tower. <laughs> I can feel, <laughs> I can feel the, the COVID just hitting me. I just yeah. get it. I'm, Are you magnetized? COVID, <laughs> Are you magnetized? Yeah. Uh, what's Jerry. the deal with those videos? Hold on a second. What's the deal with those COVID videos? <laughs> is that really magnet or is that like trickeration, like sticky glue on the arms? That's a uh, trick. It's not it's a, a magnet. No, it, it's yeah. a trick. Yeah. You know, the vaccine doesn't make you a magnet. I I promise you, you won't be a magnet. Get the shot, Jerry. Get the fucking shot. <laughs> <laughs> I got the shot. You chill out, okay? Calm down. The, I, the idea the of what that <laughs> I uh, yeah. I got I got I got three shots. I got all three. I said, "Give me all." That's of them. smart. Yeah, yeah. I, I I like to do like once now we've now that we have capacity. I just like to go around and get extra shots, get extra cards, uh, you know, and uh, you know, just in case to have them, you know, for you know, I don't sell them. I keep them for myself, obviously. But yeah, you know, I have to tell you, I even got my children vaccinated. Yeah, I'm one of them. Whoa. Whoa. I'm one of those parents. Yeah. Yes. Um, but uh, you know what's so crazy is they accidentally gave me two extra, so I have two extra cards with nothing on them. Uh, and just my illicit mind was like, I should return these right away and be like, oh, man, yeah. you gave me extra cards. So I yeah. just have my two kids. But I was like, oh, man, what if, what if these have some street value? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I, I went them. to the... I went to the Clippers game, and to get to the Clippers game, you have to show your vaccination card. And Whoa. so, you know, you know, you can stand outside of uh, Staples yeah. and get ready that's for it. That, that's because that friend of Bill Gates is the owner, and he's they're all tracking us. They're tracking yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, can you show us some dog handling uh, techniques and tips? So this is it. So we run with the dogs. Come on, come on. We're running, we're running. And then we run and we stop, and we sit, sit, boys, sit. Sit, boys. Show them. Show them. Show them. Sit, guys. Don't do this to me. Guys, don't do this. To me. Sit. 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 Yes. Yes. Sit. Yes. <laughs> Jerry. Yeah, you guys are the best. Jerry, are those are those your dogs? Nah, I got them for the show. Don't know. Who <laughs> for they cheap are. rentals. And because <laughs> yeah. of COVID, you don't have to have the handler. They just gave them to me. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to say that. I was so pleasantly surprised to see when you were on Watch What Happens Live, you gave Andy Cohen the same treatment that you gave us. You were live in Calabasas. You were out, I think, in the same park. Yeah. Um, I think I said this last time on your show. I can't do anything that requires Wi-Fi or bandwidth at home because my fucking kids are on that TikTok nonstop. They just swipe yeah. and swipe and swipe and swipe. Yeah. And um, I just can't be there. Are they making, how is their content? Is their content funny? Yeah. Is that like, are they making cool videos or kind of you shitty know, videos? It's so funny. I'm actually a little bit proud of this. Um, I have their, their content currently right now is it's terrible. It's a lot of like lip syncing. It's like, if you right. want to be my lover, you got to come with my friend, making friends forever. Friendship never ends. And they're like, look at this. And I'm like, Honey, this is useless what you're doing. You're just lip syncing to like, not like a, like, I don't, no, no offense to pop songs, but you're yeah. just lip syncing to a pop song and there's no creativity in this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at least, like, if you're gonna, like, do something funny on the internet, like, do a prank where you really fuck with somebody, like, hard, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, like, um, like, are you uh, trying to like make an Netflix. appeal to, are you trying to be in your daughter's TikTok videos? Is this yeah, what you're, are you, you trying to be in their videos? To, uh, you should be you know, in their I'm videos. I'm just saying like, go to like, like start some controversy, go to a, like a, like yeah. film, like God forbid, but like a, like a suicide forest or something. I'm not saying that that's for <laughs> sure, you know? sure, but, sure like, but something like that. Yeah. Do you see, did you see, uh, Raise Julianne, mm. Julianne Huff's, uh, like niece, was just in a TikTok controversy because there is a new thing going on on TikTok. This is totally real, not a bit, where it's like celebrities' relatives reveal secrets. No, so Julia, yes. no I don't so want Julian that. So Julian Huff, her niece said, 
my, you know, Julian slept with Leonardo DiCaprio and she told me he wow. is very bad in bed. And, wow. and like, and so, wow. and then, and, and, and then it was immediately taken down, but not after, you know, all wow. the gossip sites got it first, but I love that there was like a, a hashtag. It's like spill family celebrity secrets or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. And that's like the whole thing now. So you got to watch out, Jerry, if you got, that would secrets. be like, oh. that would be like Rob's cousin. Yeah. I don't saying, want that. I don't want it. I don't. He has like all no. white. No, humans. no. No, 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 that's not true. My hair is Our all white, all but my white pubes, pubes. All right, now I have to show my pubes. I have to show my pubes. <laughs> oh, let's do another no, trick. No, trick no, done. Trick no, done. no, no. Hey, sit down, 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 all the way down. Get down, get down on the ground. Get down, get down, boys. Down, 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 down. Laying down. We're down. We're getting down. Get down. Those yeah, are not his dogs. Yet. They're clearly not his dogs. They're rental dogs. Jerry, the place where you rent them, like, is it, do you have to like pay by the hour? How does it work? Like, do you have to have them back by a certain time? Um, jokes aside, these are my babies. This is Phil, who is, I call him my once in a lifetime dog. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Phil, come on. How long Phil? Up. About five or oh. six years. Rescued from some Orange County rescue. He's such a good boy. He's such yeah. a baby. He thinks he's a lap dog. Yeah. He, he actually identifies as a lap dog. He's a big dog that <laughs> identifies as a lap dog. And this is Pirate. He's a little bit older. Come here, Pirate. Come here. He's a little older, so we like sort of hang out with him. He's getting up there though. He's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Do your kid here's the thing. My kids asked for they begged, wanted a dog, wanted a dog, wanted a dog. And they yeah. do nothing to take care of the dog. I, I, like uh, or even attempt Zippo. to. Yeah. Yeah. Zippo. I'm gonna tell you a little story. <laughs> having children who are 12. I live here in Calabasas. This is not a backdrop. This is real. Look, this is real. Oh, it's beautiful. It's this gorgeous. Not, it's gorgeous. This I is can not, tell. Uh, yeah. This is not a this is not a green screen. This is not a blue screen. Oh yeah, there's no I know you way. Guys do, there's no way you could fake it. There's no way. I know you guys do funny green screens with your zooms and stuff like work zooms, but this is like real. Yeah. Look, the wind. This is not a wind machine. Yeah. But my children who are 12 I mean, this is a safe area, right? Yeah, right we pay right. a lot of money to make sure these parks, these 5G parks are safe. Yeah. And um, I couldn't pick up my kids from school the other day. I, I was, I don't know, uh, self-taping for a two-episode <laughs> arc on NCIS. I couldn't make it. I couldn't. I was going to be a little late. Yeah. There was a line at the self-tape place. I was like, I wasn't like in a den, an opium den. I wasn't yeah. like, yeah, doing bad things. You're trying to provide for your family. Yeah. Sorry, I'm out of breath from a look little wind, earlier. Look at the wind anyway. machine. Look at the wind machine. Really, you go Jerry. to you go to a self tape place. Yeah. Why don't you just do it in your in your garage like me? Oh, uh, because I prefer uh, reading with someone, and because I'm an older actor, I need to actually go to a place and act like it's a real audition and get nervous and be like, oh, hey, and then I go in and i like, it's nice to meet you, and the guy's like, I just work here, and I'm like, oh, it's nice to meet you, I'd love to be a part of this project, and he's like, I just, I just work here, man, it's just a self-tape place, I have like 15 other self-tapes to do right after you, and I'm like, hey, just let me help like get into this. Hey, so I love, uh, I love NCIS, I love Ma, Nola, uh... All of them. It would be awesome to play this this yeah. baddie. Yeah. I'm not known for baddies, so this is kind of fun. But let's just roll. Let's just do one, and then you can give me notes. Go, 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 go. Roll, roll, roll. Anyway, my kids are at it. Uh, I'm doing a self tape, um, which costs like it's actually only twenty bucks for fifteen minutes, and then forty bucks for a half hour. And so I just pay for the fifteen minutes, and I'm just like, let's go. Like I get in there, and I'm like, go, 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 roll, roll, roll. <laughs> Man, chill out. I, I, like he takes the temperature, and then that awkward thing happens with the temperature where they're like click and it's not going, and you're just like standing there, like okay, man, it's not. And he's like, oh, sorry. And then you like you do that like awkward thing where you're just staring at each other, and you're like, is it, is it coming up? Is it coming up? And then they weirdly always like boom, they touch you a little bit on the forehead. Yeah, with it. And you're like, that's oh, not good. Yeah, like, I don't like that. Don't touch my forehead. I just got the COVID. Anyway, my kids were at a Starbucks after school. And I couldn't meet them. And I said, guys, I have to meet you home. You have to take an Uber home. Okay. okay. It's not a bad Uber. It's like a, it's like a $11 Uber usually. Sure. From that distance. And um, 
I said, uh, you got to take an Uber home. And they were like, what? And I was like, you girls are 12. You're going to jump in the Uber. And they were like, by ourselves? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And they were like, oh, God. Okay. So I'm in the self-tape place, and my phone is buzzing. And the guy's like, you got to get that. And finally, I was like, what's up? And they were like, we see the, the green Prius with the license plate ending in XZY. But the man looks really weird. We're not sure we can go in there. We can't do this guy. And I was like, when I was their age, like, think about when you were 12, fellas. Yeah. My parents had no clue. I was, I could have been in Cairo. They would have yes. had no clue where I was. And these kids are so protective these days. It's yeah. like, I, ta- I called them my wife and I was like, we've got to, like, they've got to do something by themselves. Like, yeah. I don't, like, uh, I you don't know. Do, Jerry, you should sign up for this thing that, I just got involved with this group and I, I'm, I'm sort of trying it out as like a side hustle, like side gig, but we do a thing where it's sort of like, um, basically we, I get hired to scare the shit out of your family. Like it could be like, you know, when you can pick mm. from a menu of options, Sheer knows about this. Like I, it's good. I'll I actually co- do it with I'll, my kids. They love it. I'll come to your, I'll come to your house. Now, let me preface it. No one gets hurt. Okay. Or hurt, hurt badly. But I'll come to your house. I'll I'll take your kids. Like in the, uh, like I will, I will kidnap your kids, put them in the back seat, hog tie them, everything. You know they're freaking out. You act like you're freaking out, but you know this is a service that I paid for to help my kids. Mm. So let me know if you're interested in it. It's you know it could be you pick from a menu of like where it's like a you purge. Would- it's like a purge situation. And Rob does it really nice, really classy stuff. The ropes are high quality, yeah. uh, but they look low quality. The bags over your head, they, they are. I can do, a, I can do a scary accent. You know, I can do like Eastern European. I can do really well, you know, uh, nothing racist. I'm not going to do like, uh, you know, like that, but, um, but it's, uh, it's really, it scares the shit out of kids in a, in a helpful, smart way that will build confidence. So think about my, that. My, uh, my friend just did a thing pre-COVID in Philadelphia where it was a weekend where they, like the end of the weekend was they throw him into a car trunk and he's tied up in handcuffs. He's got to escape the trunk of the car and make it to a location based on clues. And it was like, uh, but it's not like it's not like a fun murder mystery thing. It's it, it's yeah. like it, no, it's like a survival thing. Can you do yeah. it? And uh, yeah, he said it changed his life. That the that movie weekend. the movie was called The Game. Remember, starring Sean yeah, Penn and yeah, Michael it's not, Douglas. It's sort of related to that. Yeah, or kind of yeah. like Game Night. Game Night has that too. You know, there's an. So I have another that. funny story. I have another funny story just to let you know how old I am because you guys remember me from the '90s, like when I was like the guy. You know, like when oh, I was man. like, yeah. "Hey guys, don't worry, we'll get in this club. Come on, let's go. Come on, oh, yeah, man. they're with me, Paul and Rob. Come on." Yeah. Close, and the do- and there were no dogs. In. There were no dogs at that time. This is when you were living in, in Hollywood. You were in a ho- yeah. you were Hollywood, Jerry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you you guys remember my condo? I mean, yeah. Super sensible, good. The owner's fees were a little high, but it was a it was a it was a great place. Um, you lived upstairs. Your brother lived downstairs. Am yeah, I, right? I remember that. Yeah, your brother lived yeah, downstairs. Right. Yeah, yeah. We we referred to them as our adult bunk beds. Um. <laughs> um. But um. Wow, that idea sounds really good, Rob. I really do like that. Yeah, just let me know, dude, for real. I'll give you I'll give you a free, you know, we can give you like a discount or something. But what were you going to say? So you and so you in your old place where you lived, was there where was there were you going to say something there? Was there something that happened in your old place? Yes, I was. I'm so sorry. I just took an edible right before. That's okay. You said you had <laughs> you said you had you, you said you had one other funny story. And you said, I used to be the guy. You guys knew me in the 90s. I used to fuck a lot. I used to like always, I was always on the Whoa. scene. Well, I, I cannot I mean, say I'm, that. I, 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 I'm adding the uh, sex. It had something stuff. to do. It had something to do with the game, that movie, the game Paul was talking Michael about. Uh, someone. That's right. Yeah, someone we'll, we'll, Trump. We'll, Don't worry about we'll, it. Yeah. We'll, we'll edit this part out. We'll edit this part out. I just went off on too many tangents. I got too excited talking to you guys. No, uh, Jerry, oh. it's so good to see. Yeah. Fun note, uh, Joe Wenger was my 201 uh, um, uh, improv teacher. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, wow. He was my UCB teacher. He was awesome. Hey, now, Jerry, Jerry oh. are there any, is there any, um, 
I don't know where you are in Calabasas, but like, are you in danger at all of like a bear, like a mountain lion coming up behind you? Like we, we should work out a system. Once in this park, I saw a bobcat. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Once in this park, I saw a bobcat at a, at a great distance. Bobcat Goldthwaite or a real bobcat? No, no, no. It was the real bobcat. Not the one who's, uh, who's the director, actor, uh, not, uh, not the one. <laughs> That's a pretty good impression. Uh, 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 yes. This, this is our More second impressions. police academy story of the night. Our first police academy story was the story about Michael Winslow, the uh, the man of uh, a million voices. Uh, hey, I want to tell you. I want to tell you one other thing. Um, I, I I just remembered my story. I'm so sorry. This edible just hit me like really hard. Right. How did, um, what, kind of, what kind of edible was you it? You guys remember me? I used to get you guys into the clubs and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Thank go pick you. up my daughters at that same Starbucks yesterday, okay? Mm-hmm. And they were with all their friends. Yesterday was the last day of school, last day of physical school. They were in the sixth grade. They just finished the sixth grade. They're entering wow. the seventh grade. And so I went to go meet my kids at that Starbucks where I had the Uber mm-hmm. that they had trouble getting into because they thought they were in that movie, The Game, starring Sean Penn. And <laughs> there was... There was a um, there was one of their friends. I don't I don't know her name, but uh, she ordered uh, at the counter, and there was I don't know I'd say fifteen of them. And I said to the Starbucks person, I said, "Hey, I got their drinks. I got their drinks." I said, "I'm here to pick up my daughters, and let me just get all their drinks." And he went all of them, and I said, "All of them." And the girl saw me do that, and she turned to the group of girls and she went, "Oh my god, that weird old man is buying us drinks." <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Yes. And then I saw them all go like this. I mean, I was sort of proud of them that they're all on alert. Like they. Yeah. They yeah. 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 Right. You can't get these kids into vans as easily anymore. You know, they're like on alert. <laughs> no, you yeah, know? no. Yeah. Yeah. And um, <laughs> like one of them looked over and she went, "Oh no, that's just that's just Dolly and Charlie O'Connell's dad." And then of course my daughters came over and they were like, "What are you doing here?" And I was like, uh, "I was. I'm here to pick you. I'm here to meet you." And they were like, "Just go. Just." Just fucking go. Just go. Go. Aww. Leave. Leave. And I was like, well, I'm here to pick you up. And Anyway, afterwards, they came up and they said, by the way, all the girls said, thank you for the drinks and everything. But can you believe on for, upon first glance? Oh, oh no. Like, I'm um, no yeah. one is like, they're well, like. Well, the, the, sh- the, the, the t-shirt you're costumes. wearing. It's the t-shirt. Were you wearing that t-shirt? I was wearing this outfit. I was just walking the yeah. dogs. I was like, it's a little, <laughs> yeah, it's a little, the, I think the wife beater thing is a little off putting to kids, <laughs> but I mean, it's just, it's Calabasas. So you're just coming from the gym. You're just yeah, like, yeah, I'm just Jerry. Just can, I ask you, can I ask you a question? I know I always ask you this, but like, do you, how do you stay in such good shape? Do, do you exercise all the time or do you not eat or not drink or, what do you what do you do? Is it are you always walking the dogs? Do you do you are you it's a lot of you, hiking? Yeah. And also it's a it's a mindset. No. Mindset, Rob. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. It's I mindset. actually am on I'm on Jerry's diet plan. I pay him five hundred dollars a month and he'll send me a motivational video every month of food and he's like the idea is that like if he shows me like pizza i won't have the need to order pizza and it is it's it's great i've, I've so like it's a video a of, of jerry eating the food that you can't have yeah and it kind of like inspires me but also f- scratches an itch i don't know he's got a good plan there it's like yeah it, it really has been working thank you jerry for for guiding me and and keeping um me in- just to change the subject um he won't ever Speaking answer the question. Of, he never, he will not answer the know? question. What do you want to know? Like, I'm a I'll tell you this much gym. about Jerry. I will tell you this much. The thing that impresses, the, the, the thing that is your hidden talent, I believe, is your ability to swim. Jerry it oh, should be an Olympic swimmer because when is you look at him, like yeah. insane swimmer, you see him in the ocean, you yeah. see him in a pool. It's like, there's no... It's all about grace and speed. It, it, it like Swim we are like, hey, we're in a pool, we're in the ocean. Jerry's like, fum, 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 I'm out to a buoy and back again, or like, it, I, you it know, is, uh, it, yeah, you know, I actually I open water swim. I was in the ocean yeah. a couple days ago. I, I remember I when we were swim. in Mexico. You swam, yeah, yeah you yeah. swam, yeah. and it was like against waves. It was no joke. It's yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. It's, now, I, you I, way, you're also you're also looking at a Suffolk County ocean lifeguard. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, Whoa. baby. 
Suffolk Jerry, County would my you, hometown. <laughs> would, <laughs> come on. Would, Jerry, would you do would you do a show, Jerry, where get you down. were get down. <laughs> get down, show them you get down, get down, get down all the way. Get down. I I can hear you. Okay. I, would I, you, I you would, would you get do down. a show where you where get your down. character was like in the water a lot, like you had to swim a lot, like not a not like a Baywatch, but like a you know, like maybe um like a Aquaman. jet ski, a jet ski patrol like guy on a yeah, yeah something like yeah. that, or like you know, but you're on the you're on like the Lake of the Ozarks Baywatch. and you're like Water yeah, World, well, not, not, yeah, sure. A Baywatch, limited but... a limited mini series of Water World starring Jerry O'Connell. You take Piranha, it back Piranha three double D. Yeah. Look, did you, we did it. We did you it. You guys must have had a blast on that. Was Listen, did Jerry swim thing? a lot? Did Jerry did. swim a lot in that movie? Yeah, Paul? I did. Yeah. Well, we we uh, Paul and I shot Piranha. The kids won't know what that is because it came out about a decade ago, but it took place on a lake, and we've shot at the lake, and I swam there a lot. Um, something I wanted to talk about because I know you guys are involved in showbiz and movies and all that. Oh yeah. Um, last night I took my kids. Uh, I do like to scare the shit out of my kids. It is fun because yeah. they're twelve. And by the way, Rob, that's that does sound like a really fun idea to have. I mean, I know that's terrible if anyone <laughs> has been kidnapped or been through a kidnapping. It's uh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> but it, uh, we thank you, hear you, you Jerry. Thank yeah. you, thank you. No, but we do hear you, and we understand your fears. <laughs> But we're, we were joking about like just like pranking our kids yeah. that they're actually yeah, being kidnapped yeah, yeah. in Calabasas. It's like you're an Uber driver who goes to pick them up and you're like, if I don't get five stars, you're never getting out. <laughs> um, but I took my kids to go see, I'm sorry to say this, one of the, one of the worst movies I've ever seen, The Conjuring. Oh, no. last night. The Conjuring. What, um, I, honestly, like, and my kids well, this is like, the, this is the third one, right? Is this I don't the even one? know which one it is. But like, there's nothing else to do. The movie theater opened. Finally, we're going to movies. I had three bucks of popcorn. I just I couldn't stop with the popcorn. But I was like doing a joke with the popcorn too, and my kids were loving it. But we were watching. Um, what was the joke? Conjuring. No, the joke. Um, no, I do. Uh, I was doing this really funny bit where I like we're just sitting in the theater, and we were the only ones in the theater because I think you know. It's, it's taken a while yeah. for the industry to come back. You know, I think people are just so used to that streaming and just, you know, the yeah. Snyder's and the Snyder versions and all that stuff. And it's like, come on back to the theaters. We're there, you know? And, um, uh, I was doing this joke where I was throwing popcorn. It's hilarious. You guys should do it one time with your kids. You throw popcorn in the air and then you like go and catch it in the, in the theater when the movie's going on. And they were laughing. It's not really a joke. It's not a joke. It's, it's, no, not, no, it's, it's not like, no, no. I'm going to tell you, you take like one curl, you find a big one, you like go in there and then you like throw it up and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's like weird because there's AC and stuff and you can't, it's yeah. hard to see because it's so dark. And then like it comes down and sometimes it hits your eye and like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, like everyone's great. like laughing and stuff, you know, that's great. But man, uh, I took them to the conjuring and I'm sorry for conjuring fans who are listening. I'm sorry to people who've been kidnapped and I'm sorry to the, conjuring the devil, people, made, the <laughs> devil made me do it. Right. That's what it's called. The devil, conjuring made, me the do devil it. made me do it. But I got to yeah. say, it was almost like it was like something. I mean, Paul, it was like something you would do on adult swim. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm watching right. it. Right. And, it's, it's, it's too earnest, too straightforward. And I, is it not scary? Well, I'm going to tell you, this is another lesson that I learned this week. Um, being a dad at Calabasas <laughs> is um, uh, I'm, I'm doing the popcorn joke and the kids are laughing because this movie is terrible. And um, my kids, like I looked over and something was happening. There's an old lady and she's in an altar. And they have to break, like spoiler alert, they have to break an altar to break a curse. And um, my kids are like, oh god. oh god, oh god, oh god, and I was like, I thought they were doing a bit, like the popcorn bit. And I was like, ha, you know, you guys are finally getting it. Now we're gonna get some like funny content on TikTok. And um, they were like, oh god, and I was like, what? And they were like, don't touch me, don't touch me. And I was like, I can't believe these kids, like, they're so stupid. Like they think this is like scary. And like mm. they think this is like really scary stuff, and I'm like, girls, you've never seen the others. Like when you hear the pitter pattery yeah. of those children upstairs, yeah. and Nicole yeah. Kidman is like, <laughs> yeah. and you just hear like. But my kids were, so I guess shout out to the Conjuring because my twelve year old kids who <laughs> are actually like it did the on job. a ten year old level. 
it scares is the it, crap out of them. Is it Vera Farm Farmaga? Far, how do you Farmilia. say her last name? Farmilia. Vera Farmilia. And, yeah. and is it Patrick? Um, is he guys, still guys, in come it? on, guys, it, Vera Farmilia. Yeah. For me, <laughs> say it. And, and Patrick. It's, it's Vira. actually no, actually, guys, I'm not even joking. Like you're right. mispronouncing it. Vera, Vira? yeah. Farmil, I did it. I'm fucking no, saying it. Farmil, yeah. Vira, hey, Rob, Farmil. I'm actually. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Like, just muted a second. This is actually not a joke. Like, really pronounce it like properly. Because it's Vira. Right. Vira. Farmil. Vira. Farmilia. Farmilia. <laughs> Farmilia. Vira. Farmilia. All right, just unmute it. Let's yeah. get back to the yeah. show. Okay. Uh, but is, pa is Patrick Wilson in it? Is, is yeah. he? Okay. Very good. Powerful performance. Great. Now, Jerry, hey, I have a, I, I, am I wrong in saying that you are, you and I both shared a, a thing, which is my wife was away for a long period of time and I was alone with my two kids. Are you in that zone right now? I am in that zone right now. Um, you know, I actually, like, this is like a borderline serious moment. Um, yeah. I don't like... Um, uh, really talking about it that much because it sounds like kind of complaining and it also comes off with, like a touch like chauvinistic like it's dad time now it's my turn yeah, like, dad, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. so like we're all actors we all work in showbiz work Absolutely. is rather fleeting especially after a pandemic my wife got a job in canada their um quarantine border rules are extremely strict so and strict. i had the same so issue we, yeah so i have not seen my wife in a couple of months, which is I didn't, wow. the longest I have ever been away from Same. her. I, wow. 60 days. Uh, I had 60 days. How long have you ever. gone now? And I want to mm. say, like, on a, this is like a rare, like, genuine moment on the show. Like, I, I genuinely, like, miss her. Like, I really, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I genuinely miss her, you know? And well, you know, you know what you should do, Jerry, is, is, uh, make a sincere, uh, right now on the show, do a sincere straight to camera, moment and we'll send this clip to her because she's not watching i'm assuming she doesn't yeah, watch the, she should be watching i mean but, yeah. but she's not paul she's okay. not trust me rebecca is not watching this bullshit she is so, on she's i have to say she's typically not on here she's typically on on the clubhouse she loves all those she uh, likes clubhouse oh, it's interesting. interesting. she goes under a she goes under a pseudonym though okay, so jerry just do a little private video for her and we'll send her this clip all right I'll all right. Um, <laughs> here, wait. Let me let me just do a whole bit. Yeah, come, come on, here, jog, jog into it. I'm gonna tape. I'm taping this now too. <laughs> Say hi to mommy, okay? Sit, guys. Sit, sit. Show show mommy how good you are. Bill, sit. Bill, sit. Show mommy how good. Ready? And we're gonna do the we're gonna do the hello mommy tape on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Hey, mommy. Hey, Becca. Ask Becca Booney. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at, uh, sorry, at Rebecca Romaine, she changed her name. She got verified on Instagram. Hey, at Rebecca <laughs> Romaine, we really miss you so much. We know you're in Canada shooting Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. It's going to be good. We can't wait. Um, we're super stoked for it. Um, and we miss you so much here in Calabasas. We can't wait for you to come back because we love you because um, every time you go, Take a piece of me <laughs> with you. Great. And, you know, uh, there's always something there to remind me. <laughs> always something there. Oh, and, wow. Two um, songs. Two songs. You know, um, uh, the kid is not my son. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Now, three now, songs, now, yeah. now yeah. he's getting, uh, off, he's and, getting uh, off track. Uh, you know, um, every breath you take. Oh, wow. Every move you make. No, it seems like he's Every still... laugh you fake. Every. Laugh you fake. Comment you leave. Started off so sincere. Yeah. Now he's like now he's just, just like, quoting. Be watching. Okay. okay. Well, now it's uh, well, we do love you, Beck. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I can't wait to get our favorite sag paneer and our favorite Indian restaurant. And I can't yeah. wait to get the puri bread with the onions that you love. And then we'll oh, also yeah. go to the Thai place and we'll get it extra spicy. Mm. Um, and uh, I may even uh, I may even try to be vegan. For you, just to show you, and then uh, just like be going around the house, like yeah. this, <laughs> just like uh, shit coming out. This is getting maybe weird. Be a vegan this is getting for weird, like Paul. a couple days. Uh, I like it. I mean, it's honest. I think there it is. I mean, be a it, vegan. That was weird. And eating the vegan hot dogs, oh, which it's, it's taking a turn, made me shit my pants. Oh, see, um, here we go. 
But oh, um, this is love. This is true love. We can't send I'll this. We can't send husband. this. We gotta I'll send be it. a good it's husband. Nice. And I'll love. Uh, that's listen. nice. That's nice. <laughs> and um, I'll be caring and whatever. We can watch whatever you want to watch. You know, hacks. Yeah. <laughs> That's you know, good. We'll he should end it. He, he should just mayor end it of there. Mayor of Eastwood. Mayor of Easttown. Mayor of, yeah. Mayor of he's Eastdown. just Eastdown. listing. He's you know, just listing shows now. And we'll watch yeah. all those shows. We'll watch them all. We'll watch. Uh, yeah. Bridgerton. <laughs> oh, 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 milady. This is not oh, the whole thing with Bridgerton it's is that the guy can't come, right? Or he Paul, can't. Paul, this oh, is sorry. Jerry's video. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, sorry, honey. That was Paul. Just to edit that part out. Where was I? Oh, Bridgerton. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. Just like dissolve that part in. And um, I love you. I miss you, and I miss your bunion. Okay. And it's getting too miss, personal. I miss that like dry. You always no, get dry skin no, right there, no, right no, there. No, it's no, like no. always this dry. This is too personal. This is too personal. And I also let me, let me um, go. I miss. Uh, how how are we gonna edit this? Just, I miss I've that one <laughs> on your left foot, especially when you wear you wear heels. You get that corn. He's so oh, high. God. Look, how, oh, look how high he is. You can see how high he is. <laughs> I'm gonna send this to the videotape yeah. guy, the uh, the uh, <laughs> the voice, the I, tape guy. Uh, I just want to say that I miss you and I love you and I miss you scratching with your toenails under oh, the Oh, gross! Shirt. Oh, gross! She scratches him with her toenails. And um, you know, just uh. He hasn't even mentioned you in NTSFS. <laughs> he hasn't even mentioned the kids. He has not mentioned their well, children. It's his thing, you know. <laughs> He's with the kids. the kids and the kids. Yeah, want to be with you too, and okay. we all want you we back should, in the house. Yeah, we should cut him off. It's there's no way, Paul. It's going to be too big of a thing. Now, to email. We can't. Yeah, he's going to the end. I feel like, oh. even though. Even though there have been some things that have run a little more smoothly since you've been gone, just a yeah, touch. Like oh no! Like what? What could possibly go better while I mean, she's away? <laughs> just like we watch whatever we want. Oh, yeah, we did that. TV, like oh, just a TV thing. Yeah, we eat whatever we want. Uh, well, I wouldn't go to tell movies. You that. You go to movies on a Tuesday. Uh, movies. Night. We watch The he, Conjuring on a Tuesday he, night. I hope he doesn't mention the I Uber thing. I my popcorn trick. I hope, hope he doesn't Can mention the, the Uber thing. The kids just get picked up in. Uh, no! 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 <laughs> In an Uber pool, so they oh, have to learn no. to sit a next pool. to other people. No, not a it's pool. Not a pool. It's just an no. Uber pool. Oh my God, that's worse. I leave a I leave a ten percent tip. <laughs> All right, I guess. I mean, and that's you know. it, baby. I love you. Oh, wow. All right, great job. Wow. Great guys. job. Man. That, we'll we're gonna that. send we'll that. Send wow, we'll send Jerry. It. We might have to trim it. We'll trim some of it. We'll Let leave it all. Let it go long. Yeah. Zack yeah. Snyder, that except shit. Except for the one part. Uh, set that one. There was a Bridgerton part that. Uh, yeah, yeah Paul I'll cut that out. That was my point. Paul interrupted that. that. Yeah, we'll cut that out. <sighs> man, Jerry, always a pleasure. Always the best, buddy. I love you guys. Some love you, bud. Great to see you, buddy. And, um, can I play the book? Can I play the Joe oh, Winger? Yeah, book game? hey, I, I thought you. I thought you wanted to go. You can hang out with us all you'd like. Oh yeah, I yeah. thought you had to go. Book game. All right, play the book game. I'll show you. I'll play you some book game here. Let me get. A, I got some good slides for you. All right. Uh, all right. Here, check this out. <laughs> this is uh, a book called Never Miss. Mm, I'm gonna tell you what it's by, about. I'm gonna tell you what it's about. Yeah. I don't even need to know anything else. Got Never it. Never miss. It's about uh, a hot, super hot. Oh, she's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> a super cute uh, hit woman, hit person, yeah. hit okay. yes, yeah, hit hit person. Um, mm -hmm. and she uh, she is known as a sniper. She's a former sniper. Got it. Uh, served in uh, the Middle East in those conflicts. Yeah, uh, you know uh, Afghanistan and stuff. Yeah, and um, she's a hitman now. Who works for the mob, but then the mob, uh, she kills the wrong person accidentally, and then the mob is coming to get her. But then she turns it around, and she has to not only take out the mob, but the corrupt uh, FBI people who are also trying to get the mob. She's going to take them all out, and you know what she never does? What? She never misses. Wow. Uh, I love that. Now wow. I'm going to tell a, you. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. What do well, you think? Well, I just I had a slightly different take. This is slightly different. This is about, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I would say 
just looking at the cover, this is about a child bride who who always wanted to have like a single life, but was instantly a missus. You know, she was always mm. a missus and she was never a miss. So hmm. she okay. she wished she wished that she could have been young and single and carefree, but she was all she was a child bride, so she was married off as a missus at like a very young age. Am I? It's not as good of a it? book as it's not as good as of, of, of a book as mine. My I, I like I Jerry's. We'll, we'll I like Jerry's. I like Rob's, but never miss is about a former CIA sniper. Uh, ah! Candace, <laughs> yes, there it is. Uh, her name is Candace <laughs> Cole and she possesses a special <laughs> set of skills <laughs> and a rare pedigree. She comes from a family of assassins. Jerry, you're right again. Uh, and by it saving so smarter Linda than Rob, smarter than Rob, <laughs> Rob, we know more about showbiz than Rob. Rob, you both. These are books. This Hospital, they went in. Showbiz. <laughs> we know more than Rob. Who knows more than Rob? I do. I do. I do. I do. I know more than Rob. Yes, I do. <laughs> Those dogs. Well, and, and basically, she that. she um she helps this person that she saves, and discovers that the Ebola virus was man made. And it's about to be weaponized, and she has to go out and stop the man-made Ebola virus from infecting the world. So that is never miss, wow. uh, never miss. And and you know, Jerry, this is one that I think you might like. Here, another one. Uh, this one, oh, hold on you can maybe never uh, miss. Wait, let me see. Never miss. It was a Cosmo never... novel, right? Was it a Cosmo novel? Yeah, a, it was. A a Cos- Cos- yeah, wow. yeah. Cos- wow. Oh wow, Jerry, wow, Jerry. Wow. Jerry there's, there's a lot. <laughs> um, this one is uh, hooked on you. Hooked on God. you. Oh, now this yeah. is I know a, what, a I know Maple what Falls I know what it's, I know, I know what it's what this about. one. Yeah, I know, I know what it's this about. One. Go ahead, Jerry. Um. Oh, it's a Kathy Fuller. Um. <laughs> you call her Kathy. You call her Kathy. People call her Kathleen. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody says Kathleen. You say Kathy. Well, Kathleen is yeah, um, that's like the full that's the okay, full yeah. name. Yeah. Um, Kath. She's Kath Fuller. Hooked on You is tough. It hits close to home because it's um. Oh no! Oh no! It's about addiction. Oh shit! Oh yeah! No! Oh. And um. Yeah. No. Yep. It's about a guy who uh, enters recovery. Mm-hmm. An addiction to porn. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. And uh, he uh, relapses. He keeps relapsing. He oh, relapses shit. every night. Oh wow! Every and, night, like a Groundhog Day. Oh, shit. Uh, then you follow the story of another woman who is. Uh, oh, hooked Jerry! On, it's a bear! It's a bear, Jerry. Hook, hooked on fentanyl. Wow! Oh, geez. Wow! Straight, straight fentanyl. Normally, they cut fentanyl and things. Yeah. Guys, I'm talking about hooked on you. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Guys, don't ruin this. Don't ruin this. It's for it's for Twitch. What is it? Twitch? It's a live streaming comedy show. Yeah, we're on Twitch right now, but we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it, don't stop it. Hooked on you. She's on fentanyl. Uh he becomes her um uh sponsee and she helps him overcome his porn addiction, and they both open up a convenience store that's on Kathy Fuller's cover. Wow. I like I like it. I like it. Uh Hubel, you want to take a crack at it? Yeah, I thought this was I thought this was the sequel to uh uh Stuck on You, that movie with Matt Damon and oh, yeah. uh and, and Greg Kinnear. But this one is about they uh they both have they were both born with fish hooks coming out of their sides. Mm-hmm. And so they got like their fish hooks linked up, and so they're kind of like stuck together, but just through their fish hooks. Okay, that <laughs> uh, I like that idea. The hooked and unfortunately, you're both a little bit off. Uh, hooked on you, yes. Hooked on you is about Riley McAllister. Uh, she left a very small Arkansas town of Maple Falls after graduating high school, and she's hoping to make it. Big. <laughs> she's uh, she's hoping to make it big in New York as a mixed media artist. Mm. Uh, she's still pursuing martial a artist, a martial artist, a uh, martial mixed, artist? Me- mixed, mixed media, media, mixed media. Yeah. Martial artist, MMA, mixed martial no, artist. No, 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 no. Mixed M- media. Yeah, mixed media. Like yeah. Painting and painting and, you know, sculpture or whatever. Media? I, whatever. Never mind. She's like, pursuing like, like, it's whoa, not important. Hold on a second. It's... Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> like, NFT, 
NFTs or what? Like NFTs? No, it's there's no it, there's no NFTs in the book, right, Paul? There's I mean, no there's no NFTs in the book. No NFTs in the book. Yeah, no. There's mixed media is more of a like uh you know maybe collage and sculpture all in one piece. That kind it's of like a thing. Uh, she's she's like a string art. She does like string art. Strings could be in there. Yeah, I mean let's not get caught up on the mixed. Yeah, we're media really thing. getting wrapped around the axle here, Jerry. It's not important. <laughs> She okay. is, uh, oh, wait, oh, sorry. she is, uh, yeah, she's just trying to make it big in the mixed media art world in New York. Yeah. Um, and while she's pursuing her dream in New York, uh, her grandmother begs her to come home uh, and help her manage the store while she recovers from a broken leg that she got after sliding into third base during a church softball game. Did she they give safe, her? Did the they way. give her fentanyl? Did the doctor give her the fentanyl? It doesn't the go into the de- It doesn't go into the details. I don't know if the what grandmother is on of, fentanyl. What, what was she prescribed for the pain? Uh, I think if you read the book, you'll you'll get into Just that. Say fentanyl. Just say fentanyl. All right, fentanyl. Fentanyl. Uncut fentanyl. <laughs> so you are right. And uh, Riley agrees to come back hey, home. No, hey guys, hey guys, serious moment. No that joking about. Is, yeah, that yeah, stuff yeah. is serious. Like you got to be yeah. super careful with that stuff. Yeah. I like Jerry. I do like the way that we sort of like joke about stuff and then we'll go back five minutes later. Cause I would like to apologize. We were joking about being addicted to porn. I don't want anybody to be offended. That's addicted to cranking yeah. it or jacking it or jerking it, slapping it, slapping it, it or, you know, rubbing one out it. Yeah. or yeah. You know, porn addiction is nothing. Shaking to, the cum tree. You know. Is that what they call it? You ever hear that? <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, yeah. Just give me one second. Yeah, don't yeah. jack off. Don't jack off, yeah. Jerry. Jerry, don't. Oh, don't, no. don't. Jerry, don't. Oh no! No! Jerry, don't, don't, no! Don't, 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 don't. I wasn't doing that. I was gonna just try and get my dog to be quiet. Uh, yeah, like okay. I need to be. Bill, 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 please. <laughs> oh, you know Jerry, what? You guys beard, are not. That- Jerry, your beard is really starting to come in since the show started. Your beards really come in a lot. Well, we had that week where he had the mustache. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, no, I mean, since that, we, since everyone we hated started. that. And you know what happened when I got a mustache? I, um, shut up! <laughs> when I got the mustache. <laughs> when I got the mustache. Um, I was continually fighting with my wife and children. It like yeah. sparked something in me. <laughs> Okay, I guys, I gotta go. I can't. All right, Jerry. Uh, hey. uh, well, I enjoy. <laughs> Bye. That He's out. Oh it. my god, man, that, that was, was an epic, an epic a visit epic from, uh, yeah, visit from Jerry. Jerry. Holy moly! Wow. Never, uh, never disappoints. Never, disappoints. never. So good, so good. Solid, solid guest. I mean, look, forty-five minutes with Jerry. I have to pee so bad. Uh, well, we don't. You know, we've had a big show, Rob. I mean, yeah, we don't have yeah, to. Yeah. We don't have to run it out to the the very end. No. I'm just excited I, yeah, I to be we, back. Yeah, with me you. too. And, and I want to apologize, Paul. I, I, you know, I, I I started off a little angry as I, yeah. you know, that's one, an, a very easy place for me to go, and I was sure. real mad at you. And uh, I'll be honest that I have. While you were away, I did get very frustrated with your absence, oh. and I, um, planned some things to Wait, what, harm what did you, you and to, harm to, me? to hurt your house. Uh, I have, I noticed some things when I I okay, ordered. Go ahead. I ordered a bunch of uh, drone strikes. Um, don't yeah. worry, it's not what you think. It's not like military drones, but I have a lot of friends in the recreational drone community and if you fly like about a thousand drones into your house you know uh it will do a lot of damage so i do need to please stop call that it off. call it off red leader red leader wait red leader call it oh off Jesus call it Christ. off red leader call Fuck, it off this is crazy off. rob please please call this off i think i called it off paul so hopefully your house won't get oh my god carpet, i have children in here off. i have I children here and i'm only on page off. 50 of never missed Watch. Twatch, twatch, twatch. I mean, we didn't even get to talk about my new favorite book, Not Enough. Oh, God. <laughs> so many um, good books to talk about. And we got to talk about our Disney vacations. Oh, next my time. gosh. We got we got plenty of stuff. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back. I said to these people, I was really, truly, uh, I've been enjoying this so much because we don't really have any performing outlets. And I've missed doing the show with you. I've missed seeing you. Uh, and, and officially, 
uh, you know, publicly because that's the only one that way it matters. Ha happy uh, post birthday. I didn't get to ask what you did for your birthday or anything like that. I, saw, I did um, see the tribute. I did see the tribute that you did to me on my beautiful birthday. Beautiful tribute. Yeah. Beautiful well, tribute. you did show, you showed some pictures that weren't authorized, you know, like sure. me, pass, me passed out in a hot tub. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me water skiing. I'm yeah, very, yeah. I'm very sensitive to photos of me water skiing, Paul. I've always said that. Yeah, you look, man. I, you know, I have to tell the truth to our audience. They deserve, they deserve the truth. They deserve to see the real Rob, who they're getting in bed with here. Well, that's uh, the old, that's the old me. You know, I have, I have reformed. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't party like I did, you know, back in the old days. But, um, but it is good to be back together with getting you. a lot I'm of nice excited. birthday love here from you here. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Paul's birthday was January 31st. Um, that's okay. That's not inconsequential at this point. Uh, I'm going away this weekend. I'm going back to New York for a, a New York City uh, wedding. So oh, I'm going to be in New York too. I'm going to New York. Really? On How long are you there? Oh, I'm going there on Thursday and coming back on Sunday. Okay. I'm going there Sunday. Uh, oh, nice. For how long? Uh, just a week. I'm going to oh, nice. be shooting there for a week, but I think I'll be able to do the show on, uh, next week. Are you on for next week? I'm on, I'm here. I'm back. I'm in, I'm back in I business. Should, I, and I, yeah, this would be, be great. I should be, good. I should be good by then. All right. Well, I'm excited to do this again with you. We have so much more to talk about so many things out there. Uh, thank you to Jerry. Thank you to Joe Wengert. Uh, yes. and if you are, if you're jonesing <laughs> for just more chat, uh, if you tune in right now at 10 o'clock, uh, on the East coast, I'm on Watch What Happens Live tonight, yeah. sitting in the same chair, uh, I, talking to Andy Cohen, which is the most. Have you done that show, Hubel? I haven't, and um, I'm I I I'm not sure I will be invited because um, I don't know that I would be able to hang like you and Jerry. Mm -hmm. Sort of know some shows that I don't follow. Yeah, like, I, don't I don't know them follow. all, but yeah, I know I a handful, and I love them. Uh, but most of it my is it is shows, tough. You know, my reality shows are like Bigfoot and ghosts and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a little after show over there. Uh, well, all right. Well, then, if you guys want, I'm on with uh, I'm on with Kyle tonight from the Real Housewives of of uh, Beverly Hills, uh, which is uh, a, a treat, a treat among treats. Uh, and there is a woman on this show, Kathy Hilton. That Rob, I got to send you a clip of her. You will go crazy. She literally is. She's Paris Hilton's mom, and oh uh, and mind she mind. is one of the funny, like hands down, one of the funniest people I've ever seen in my life. Oh my like God. she's like she's just like rich kook doesn't have glasses crazy Mis yeah it, it's great i'll send you a clip that will make you laugh can i, um, can I make can i make a yeah. uh can i uh make a request for i want to yeah. do more of the voicemails and uh, yeah so people have been emailing me really um dumb and fun wrong numbers and yeah you know things that uh, a message that you got on your phone you can, you know, obviously, you know, just email it to me. So send it to me. I keep you in my pocket at Gmail. I keep you in my pocket at gmail.com. Or you can send it to me on Instagram and uh, and we'll 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 do some more of those on the show. I sometime. can't wait to see that show again. I watched a little bit of it uh, when I got home one night and it was great. And oh. uh, and just so you guys know, we have a cooking show coming up with Courtney McBroom uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. And we have uh, Adam Pally and I are back on Monday doing some Instagram uh, comments. And uh, Julian and I will be back again. There's a lot of fun stuff. So keep on staying tuned. Uh, yeah, these are all shows here Molly. on this channel. So thank stay in this Molly. channel. Thank, thank you, Molly, our producer. She's yeah. done an amazing job. And uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye for Thanks, now. Bye. Later.